All right, welcome back to my channel, Fear of the Northman. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited. I'm behind on my uh, my Friday episodes. Get to know the Northman. So I'm going to try to get caught up. I'm doing this one. I got one week left. I think I I think I need to put two more out to be caught up. So I'm going to do one more probably tomorrow, maybe one on Sunday. Anyhow, uh, I I play guitar. I, I sing. I write songs, or I I attempt to. Maybe a better way to say it. I've been in a few bands in my lifetime. I'm in a fake band now with some friends of mine. I have a guitar player, a vocalist. We we play heavy metal, and I'm going to upload the songs on the channel so people can listen if they want to. But I'm familiar with music. I'm familiar with how to play a song, and I can and I can recognize a good song when I hear one, and, and one that's well structured. When you start out playing music, you suck. You're absolutely terrible. You can't write anything good to save your life. And then as you experience more things in life, as life happens and as you develop as a person, your well of material starts to deepen because you just experience more things in life. Love, loss, heartache, triumph, whatever. But after that starts to happen, you, you, you start to build some technique on what sounds good, what works for you, the rhyme and meter, if that works of how you want to express yourself through music. But then you go to a phase as a singer, and especially if you're like a singer, songwriter, acoustic, acoustic guy or gal, and, or you play the piano or whatever, uh, where you have a moment where you write a song that's entirely authentic and really emotionally charged and, and powerful, and you just do sort of a soul download through the guitar, the piano, et cetera, et cetera. And... There's no thought to presentation. There's no thought to accessibility. There's nothing. You're just, you're just going balls to the wall. Um, and all in, I went through it. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming others have as well. I would, I would argue that all songwriters and all musicians have gone through that. Uh, what the issue with that? is that when we're creative or when we attempt to be creative, it's very common music and an art. I think it can happen in athletics. But when we attempt to be creative, there's two reasons why. One, we want to express ourselves. We want to wield that power that is creativity. But two, we ultimately want to connect with another individual or individuals, whatever the case may be. Uh, so it's twofold. It's expressing yourself, but also it's connecting. When you're in that phase in your songwriting approach or poem or writing or whatever, and you're just doing like these intense soul downloads into whatever uh, mechanism you're using or whatever vehicle, I don't know the right, right way to say it, whatever the case may be. Also, this is the Punch Brothers brand. This is the Knuckle Buster. I love this thing. It's fantastic. Anyhow... Whenever you're writing that way, many times it comes from a very intense place or a, a something happened, whatever the case may be. Whenever you're writing that way, it's extremely authentic and real, but since you're not giving any thought to how it should be structured, how it can be accessible, et cetera, et cetera, it can become too potent. It can become too palatable and it can chase people away. I went through that time period. I wrote about five to seven songs that were just so depressing and so dark and so just too raw with no real thought of, of, of uh, structure or whatever the case may be. The chords were cool. The hooks were okay. But in general, the material was just so, so dense with just the emotion that I was feeling at the time that it really wasn't palatable. It really wasn't accessible. And... I, I think all songwriters go through that, probably poets, probably a lot of different types of artists probably go through that. My point is, is this. It's extremely difficult to write a song in that vein, in that way, and it come out to where not only is it entirely 100% authentic and real, but it also still connects the dense 
nature of the expression doesn't chase people away. In fact, it draws them in. Because as a songwriter and as a person who's a musician, you are trying to find that balance between authenticity and accessibility and you know being able to reach the broadest scope possible. Because you again, you want to connect with people. Now, you don't want to obviously follow a formula that can become sort of uh, hollow or you know, without soul or without meaning, but you do, you do want to connect. And it's extremely difficult to just dump or have that soul download, if you will, uh, without any thought to structure, any thought to uh, accessibility, any thought to really uh, presentation, and it actually connect. It's very difficult to do that. You guys are going to laugh. Demi Lovato's song, Anyone, I think that's what it's called, Anyone... I need someone, whatever the case may be. I don't know what it's called. That is a rare song where I believe she wrote it. I don't think she had a co-writer. I could be wrong. And I think she wrote it right after she relapsed. That is a rare moment in music and in songwriting where someone is literally just dumping in real time their authentic feelings onto the guitar or the keyboard, whatever the case may be, without any thought of presentation, without any thought of of accessibility and it work it's extremely rare if you i got turned on demi lovato through my wife i'm not a fan of demi uh i didn't know who she was until the wife introduced me to her but this song that she wrote is powerful it's it's and it's spectacular it's a rare in my opinion it's a rare thing for someone to be that open and that honest and that raw and it work it's a very rare thing in my humble opinion because typically you can be so authentic and so open and so raw that it's almost like Ugh, too much, too much. You, almost like you know, like TMI, too much information or whatever. But this song nails it. It hits it home. It's about two years old now, I think. I could be wrong, maybe a year. Uh, if you haven't heard it, check it out. Uh, anyone, it, it's really, it's shocking how good it is. But I wanted to just talk about that in this, you know, Friday's Get to Know the Northman, you know, as a songwriter or someone who attempts to write songs, uh, it's very, very difficult to do what she did, and she did it, and she crushed it. And it is worth noting. It is worth noting that. It is worth noting someone who can be that raw and that honest, and it actually worked, because it's very difficult to do. So that's what this episode is about today. The Demi Lovato song, I think it's Anyone, not really sure. It's fantastic. She, she soars on it. The lyrics are powerful. Uh, not necessarily clever, not necessarily really like well written with great thought, if you will. I, maybe I'm not saying that right, but but again, I feel like she was just expressing what she felt in the moment and just sort of doing that soul download or that soul dump, and it worked. It, 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 it's it's amazing. It's a great song. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Uh, I'm bringing two more videos of Get to Know the Northman before next Friday because I got to get caught up. So that's going to probably come this weekend. If you've liked the content, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to do a video again here soon with the whiteboard. If you hated the content, send it to someone you hate. Let's go.